Could this be what I think it is? I think it is. I think I think it is. I think it is. It is. It is. <gasps> it's the black 3.0. It's the world's darkest paint. Hello there. How are you all doing? I hope you are all doing well. It's a new year. It's a new I was going to say it's a new decade then. Wow, I, I do not want to go back a year. Thank you. Today I have a very fun, exciting video for you that I have been anticipating filming since I purchased this product. So if you've not watched any of my recent videos, you may have not seen that I tested out the mirriest mirror mirriest mirror mirror the world's mirriest mirror paint by Stuart Semple and just Stuart Semple in particular is just a very very cool human being he makes these revolutionary rare exceptional like world's greatest type of art supplies that don't really exist yet we have a box here it says not for being boy I happen to not be being boy so that works quite nicely in my favor now inside this box is something very very special this is an art tin filled with Stuart's best art supplies and I'm so excited to unbox it and see what's inside, swatch them, see what they're like. Now they had four editions to these tins, they had a yellow edition, they had a red edition, they had an orange edition and what I bought which was the green edition. At least I think I bought the green one, I don't remember because it was a very long time ago and I've just had the sat out in the garage but still this is what I've got. Stuart does a lot for other people and these art tins in particular, 100% of the profits of these went towards helping vulnerable families. So while I did spend $200 on this art tin, I know that the profits of this went towards helping a lot of people. I'm going to be able to give you a big in-depth review and most likely I'm going to be able to make quite a few videos out of the art supplies inside this box. And hello, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. I make lots of fun artsy content where we test out art supplies and do different challenges and I mess up quite a lot, paint toilet seats, I paint bedroom walls and stuff like that. So it's very, very, it's very contenty. This is all packaged as well by volunteers, which is really, really cool. I'm excited. I'm excited. <gasps> Look at this. This is so cool. How amazing is that? Like imagine making your own art supplies and then having them inside a tin to sell people. I mean, that's just, I mean, I made that sound really lame, but that's so cool that you can like make this. I'm going to shut up. I need to be shush. Look how cool this is. This is the Stuart Semple art tin. We, I did get the green edition, thankfully. But yeah, this is how it looks. Ah, oh, there's a knot. Damn it. Give me a minute. Someone has some amazing bow tying capabilities. I wish I possessed that. I need a can opener. Do I have a screwdriver? I mean, I don't even possess scissors, so I highly doubt I've got a screwdriver in it too. I need to open this can. I have a, I have a metal ruler. Will that work? That didn't work. I hope I'm not going to get pranked and there's just loads of paint in here and it's just going to go everywhere. <gasps> it popped. Okay, we've got our popped tin and we're going to open it up. I can't see what's in there, but I'm sure it's good. We have, oh, I thought this was a bath bomb. I got excited. We have a little Christmas ornament. How cute is that? That's so nice. I have my tree over there out of shot. I didn't want to put it in there and annoy people, but I have got my tree up still. We have... Oh, what is... Th oh, there's so much in here. This is so cool. Okay, let's see what this is. We have Not For Bean Boy socks. These are awesome. Those are amazing. I mean, like, being an artist and having, like, a catchphrase on a pair of socks. That is, like, life goals right there. In here though, I'm seeing the mirror paint here, the world's mirriest mirror paint, which I have tried out, is amazing. If you wanna, wanna paint that's chrome-like, but also very mirror-like, this is amazing. Actually, because I've already tried this out um, in a video previously here, or wherever the card is, I'll put it, link and all that good stuff. I'll also link it below. Because I have already tried it, I have no need to swatch it and show you what it's like. So what I'll do is I will give this away to one of you. All you got to do to enter is follow me on Instagram, and I'll make a post over there and then you can enter to win. Okay, next up we have, I'm seeing a paint here called snow. Oh, it's not paint, it's glitter. <gasps> oh, what is this? This is called snow. Instructions, have fun with it. Use stick to apply to surfaces. The snowiest snow fluff. So this is basically like glitter, but it's not. I don't really know how else to describe that. It's glitter, but not. Very, very pretty. I'll have to look into how we can use that later. We have a pencil that says shade. Also have, ooh, I'll stick, um, which I'm guessing is like a glue. Sticky powder coating potion. Apply one coat evenly with a brush. Wait 10 to 15 minutes to dry. Completely pick, comp I can read, I promise. 
Apply one coat evenly with a brush, wait 10 to 15 minutes to dry and be completely transparent. Add pigment to the stickiest stick using a sponge brush. Oh, okay, here we go, this is a pigment. So, limited edition red pigment. It looks pink, but I feel like when it goes on, it's gonna look more, less salmon-like and more red. Then we have, oh, is this what I think it is? No, it's just pink, okay. I thought it was the pinkest pink, but it's just pink. It's just regular pink, not, not pinkest pink, it's just pink. This reminds me so much of being a kid because it looks like the little milk cartons they used to have. My grandma, fun fact, if you're not from the UK, my grandma used to have, um, when I was little, a milkman and he'd come round with this little glass bottle filled with milk. He'd put it on her doorstep and then take the old ones and it was just, it was a different world. So this is high grade neon pink. Next up we have, <gasps> could this be what I think it is? I think it is, I think, I think it is, I think it is, it is, it is. <gasps> it's the black 3.0, it's the world's darkest paint. The world's, I've not tried this, I'm, <gasps> I'm so excited. My friend Ray actually reviewed this already, um, I'll link her video down below, but I really want to try this, so if you would like to see me make a video on this, feel free to let me know in the comments or like this video because then I'll know. But I feel like I want to make a painting with it, I'm not sure what yet, but I feel like this, in itself will be awesome. Super flat, super matte, ultra pigmented acrylic paint. Do not eat it, drink it, or get it in your eyes. Damn it! They looked delicious though. And also the paint that kind of sparked everything, the Bean Boy situation. Okay, we've got even more in this art tin. There is, there is so much value in here, I can tell right away because this paint in particular is not cheap on its own and neither is the black 3.0. Okay, next we have, I don't think I've got the world's pinkest pink in here, but that's okay. I'm not sad. This is called heavy metal. So inside here, this is very vibrant. These are high grade acrylic paints. Prime metal surfaces first. Ooh, oh, they're like chrome metallic style paints. So we have copper, black gold, gold, and silver. So we have all four here. This is the heavy metal set. And I just, I love the packaging. There is so much effort that's gone into this. I really, really like it a lot. Next up we have, what is this one? Super base, super, 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 super base. Oh, I read super, super base, super, 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 super base, super. Super base. Super flat, super matte acrylic paint base. So is that just like gesso then, basically? If you feel unwell, call a doctor and take this bottle with you. Oh, may produce an allergic reaction. Jokes aside though, it's non-toxic though. So I'm luckily not, as far as I know, allergic to anything. But this is, this is interesting. I'm gonna have to look what this is. This is very, very special and smells of black cherries. Do I smell the paint? Is that weird? <laughs> I probably shouldn't keep smelling. It smells like Elmer's glue a little bit, but when I use it, it could be different. It holds more pigment than any other acrylic binder, which gives the potential of making your own super pigmented paints. It works brilliantly with Stuart's powder colors. Once combined, they produce rich, vibrant matte acrylics. We have three more acrylic paints in here. We have yellow, we have green, and we have blue. These are incredibly bright. They're almost neon. I'm curious to see how these apply to the paper because they are insanely bright. I'm really excited to try these and see what they're like. Okay, next up we have, what is this? Official document, do not bend. Is anyone else just a disaster opening letters? I did this once with a, an envelope and I had a check inside and I ripped the check, so that was lovely. Cultural artistic licensing body. <gasps> I'm gonna do that and cover my member number if there's, oh, oops. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this up because it's like, it's like a member number or something, but basically I apparently get 10 pounds or ten dollars at culturehustle.com. Cool, okay, that's really cool. So basically I just enter my ID number into the website and I can get like 10 pounds off. So I'm gonna use that on my pinkest pink pigment. I'm excited. And I love how it's like little bean logos and stuff. Got some bubble wrap. Oh, we have some stickers. We have some little vinyl stickers. These are cute. I am not bean boy. We have an angry bean. And then we have a culture hustle. I don't really know the reference to this one other than it looks like the black paint. So I'm nearly out now, unfortunately, but we still got some stuff to go. 
it's like so, it's so funny to me that this is like a part of his brand. If anyone's confused, by the way, about the whole Bean Boy thing, I will leave a bit of information about it in the description below. But yeah, it's, it's just funny to me. Then we have a pin. Thanks for supporting the artiest artists. Oh, that's lovely. Thanks for supporting the artiest artists. I've got an itchy nose. And then last but not least, we have some information here, which I will now read. Oh, it's a little, it's a little notebook that you can draw inside. That's really cute. A little sketchbook there. And then we have a thank you. This is from the Dorset Community Foundation, which to me is, is just amazing because that's actually where I'm from. And Stuart set this whole thing up because he's from Bournemouth, I think. And it's just funny to me that I live nowhere near there now. I got into art YouTube for as a hobby. And now I'm looking at art supplies made by an artist that's from the same place I'm from, like such a small world. I just think that's really funny to me. Okay, so now we have all of our art supplies. To me, this was so worth the value. $200 for all of these art supplies is an incredible value. I will leave a link down below to the Culture Hustle website. You can't buy these right now, but you can obviously buy any of the other supplies that you wanna try out. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead now and swatch some of these products so you can see how they work. And let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I apologize for the bad lighting. I've still not replaced my light panel that I broke the other day somehow with my superhuman She-Hulk strength. I basically have just one side of the table lit up right now. So I've got this dirty old NAF canvas here that had some paint smudges on it, as you can see. I'm just gonna use this as like my paint swatching board. So first up, we're going to try the blue neon paint. Now the consistency of this was a lot thicker than I expected and I'm not really sure why I expected it to be very runny, kind of liquidy, but this was not. First impressions, this paint was very beautiful. It's not all that opaque, but a lot of paint that I've tried that is blue tends to not be overly opaque. That being said, I did read later on that this neon collection is actually less opaque than Stuart's usual paint potion. Basically, you just need to layer it and it will be fine. So next up, I tried the pink, and without a doubt, this is the most neon pink that I've ever tried in my life. I would say that this should contain a warning that tells you that you need to wear sunglasses when applying. Again, it's not super opaque, but it is a gorgeous color. And now we have the bioluminescence version of paint this green. Yes, it, it, it's, it's sunglasses are, are required for this. I actually did a video a few years ago where I tried out a bunch of neon art supplies and they did not remotely touch these paints. Now, this, this, this is top notch for neon paint. And lastly was my favorite, the neon yellow. This was literally, the only way I can describe it, is almost like a liquid highlighter pen. That is the only possible way that I can describe it. It's also a lot more opaque than the other colours and it's just beautiful and I feel like I need to make a video just on this particular paint. So for a set of these, all four come to $66. They are soft body paints and apparently they go bonkers under a UV light, which I do not have to show you, I'm afraid. They're archival quality and there is a notice here saying that they are not as opaque as the other potions, which again, I'm guessing is a result of them being the colour that they are. Next up, we have the heavy metal potions. Now, starting off with the black gold, it's stunning. It's like a really stunning colour, a lot more opaque than any of the neons, and it looks just like a really pretty deep rich brown. And I haven't really used a metallic that looks like this before, so I was pretty impressed and I liked it a lot. Next, I tried the goldest gold, and this is a beautiful colour, not super opaque like the black gold is, but still a very, very vibrant gold paint. It's definitely up the top there with some of the very, very good gold metallic paints I've tried. The silver was kind of the same. It was a very pretty silver, very metallic, and I haven't really tried that many silver metallic paints before to compare it. So for now, I'll say it is the prettiest metallic silver I've ever tried because I've really not tried that many. And last but not least, we have we have this, this, look, look at it. It's beautiful. It's copper. It's, it's so shiny and so pigmented and it's the most beautiful copper I've ever seen in my entire life. It's like a liquid penny. That would be a good video, trying liquid penny paint. I'm gonna write that down. So this set goes for $47.99 for all four paints and it claims to be filled with the most metallic acrylics in the range of gold, silver, etc. Now comes the Black 3.0, and I'm not going to do a huge review on this because my friend Ray already did quite an in-depth review on it, but I am tempted to try this myself in a video, proper first impressions, and actually try painting a picture with it. I'm not sure what yet, but I really want to give it a go, so if you would like to see that, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, but as you can see, it came out kind of watery, and then I read the directions that said, shake well before using, so... Um, I shook it well before using and it looked much better and you, as you can see it came out much better and look at this paint This is so I mean look at this. It is pure Just opaqueness over this very very bright canvas 
without a doubt the darkest paint that I've ever used in my life and of course it's not really going to show the full magical effects until it's fully dry because this does absorb 99% of light and obviously when it's still wet it's got no, it's not going to absorb any light really so as you can see the nice matte finish does not happen until it's dry. Apparently this was tested by over 1000 artists and absorbs up to 99% of light, is light fast and archival as well. So basically once it's all dry, you can see that it absorbs up to 99% of light. There is, it's just pure matte, pure matte black and it is a stunning shade and very opaque. Without a doubt, the best black paint that I've ever used in my entire life. Next, we're gonna try the snow, which is like a hybrid between glitter and cottony fluff. It's so light, very pretty, and you use it in conjunction with the sticky liquid which applies to paper. You leave it for 10-15 minutes and then you can use a sponge brush or a cotton bud to apply the snow. Now this stuff is plastic free glitter and is light and fluffy and they say that they don't really know how you can use it so they want to see how people utilize this stuff and I do find it kind of pricey but at the same time it is unlike any other glitter or anything I've ever tried before and it's also plastic free because plastic is a massive problem in glitter. I don't know, it's kind of like snow minus the, the chilli part. It looks like Elsa's fingers or something. Look at the shine. It's honestly so beautiful and I think it would be perfect for adding finishing touches to prints and pictures and things like that. It's very unique and beautiful and with the sticky liquid you can be very very controlled over where you're putting it. Now last but not least I am trying the red pigment. For this you can put a mask on because you don't really want to breathe in any particles of pigment. It kind of looks like salmon to me. It looks more salmon than red unless is salmon a red a shade of red? I guess it actually is in a sense. Basically this is an exclusive to the art tins but I did read up the info about the pigments on the other pigments on his website and basically you just mix it with water get the consistency that you want and initially I added too much water it wasn't overly opaque but I did try mixing it with a little bit less water and it was a lot more consistently thick and it was more opaque that way. The best way to use this is to mix it with the super sticky stick stoop sticky stick stuff. Basically you mix it in with the pigment and it is the consistency is so much nicer it's really nice and opaque Overall though, this is how it all looks. I am definitely going to make more videos with some of these supplies individually because I feel like they deserve one on their own and I couldn't really give each one an in-depth review. Otherwise, this video would be like three hours long. But yes, this is how they all look. The metallics, beautiful shine. Black 3.0, incredible. I love the neons as well, um, especially once you obviously layered them a couple of times. The pigment was also fun. It's really fun to mix those up. But let me know in the comments down below which your favourite supply out of this tin was because I'd be curious to know. And thank you so much once again for watching this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out my podcast channel, by the way, on YouTube or check out on Spotify or Apple Podcasts because my next episode will be with Stuart Semple. He's actually going to be on my podcast, so I'm very excited for that. But yes, for now, thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Have a happy and healthy 2021. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Bye.